most people do not know that their spices might be contaminated with lead toxins and research tells us that the lead toxins lead to thyroid disorders especially Hashimoto's this is what we're going to talk about today hi I'm Dr. Anshul Gupta functional medicine expert which help people reverse their thyroid disease if you like this video please subscribe to our channel so there was a research study done recently and that was done in United States they took several dried spices and checked lead levels in them and to their surprise several of the dried spices have been contaminated with high amount of lead now lead is a heavy metal which is very dangerous to our body even in small amounts lead can lead to destruction of your brain destruction of your thyroid destruction of your liver and a whole bunch of other problems lead is such a big problem that each and every child in the early ages gets a blood test to check their lead levels but in adults or adult human beings we never get that test done so it is very important that each and every adult do get tested for lead now the first question is that which spices are high in lead levels and how you can avoid them so the report suggests that the brighter the color of spice the more chances of high lead levels is there in it so spices like turmeric spices like paprika or chili powder have the highest amount of lead in them and it was also seen that the spices coming from Asian countries like India, Pakistan, Nepal have higher amount of lead. Now why is that? So there are a couple of reasons for it. The first reason is that the soil which they are grown in in several of these countries you know is already contaminated with high amount of lead because a lot of chemicals are being added to the soil to grow these spices. The second reason is that when these spices are being ground up the machines which are using are, might be old and might be using some lead parts and that's the reason lead gets deposited into them and the third reason is that the lead actually is added to these spices to give them some bright colors so light lead oxide gives the chili powder a brighter red color lead chromate actually gives turmeric powder a brighter yellow color so that's the reason they are added to these spices so that's the reason you know these are high in lead levels that way now what can you do and how these lead affects your thyroid gland that's first let's understand that so lead has special affinity for your thyroid gland very small amount of lead that you ingest on the daily basis directly gets deposited in your thyroid gland and over the course of several years they just keep on destroying your thyroid gland slowly and slowly and that leads to thyroid disorder there was a research study done that people whose lead levels were even slightly high their chances of getting Hashimoto's disease which is a thyroid disorder is exponentially high it was also seen that even very small amount of lead exposure which is around 2 ppm which is almost negligible over the course of several years can lead to the thyroid damage so that's the reason lead gets deposited in your thyroid gland leads to inflammation in the thyroid gland and also causes destruction and that's the reason it is very dangerous for your body now what can you do so by no means i'm not telling you to eat these spices because obviously these spices are wonderful and they have good health benefits but there are certain things that you can do to protect yourselves you know from getting damaged your thyroid gland so the first thing is that know the source of where your spices are coming from so in that aspect getting good quality companies to get your spices organic companies which are using organic methods to grow your spices is a better way of getting them so that you know there is a very less chances of lead contamination now these days some of the companies are actually giving you certificates or they're showing on their website that they do check for lead levels so you can research those companies and buy only those companies which do check lead levels in their spices so that's the first thing that you can do the second thing that you can do to lessen the burden of lead exposure is that by kind of following some detoxification strategies on your own 
So you can do some basic things so that your body gets release all the lead from your body. First is following a diet which helps with detox. So in that, you know, you eat a lot of green leafy vegetables like spinach, kale, cilantro, celery. These are all detoxifying foods. The second thing is cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, Brussels sprouts. These are again great for detoxification. Colorful foods like beets, like pomegranate, blueberries. Again, those are helpful for detoxification. So follow those foods or do these foods on the regular basis and that is going to help with detox for you. The second thing is that you can add some supplements, not on the regular basis, but sometimes you can add these supplements, especially binders, which can help to kind of bind these lead toxins and then, you know, release from your body. So the most common binders in those situations is chlorella and activated charcoal and zeolite clay you know pectins so these are all different kinds of binders which bind all these different kinds of toxins especially the lead and can help your body to release those the other ways to detox is doing saunas so saunas are wonderful ways that can again help your body to release the lead you know from outside your body so you see these are the things that you can do i mean i will not recommend to do a full detox on your own with the lead because it can backfire and actually I've seen a lot of people getting worse with it. So if you're going for a full detox, make sure you're working with a functional doctor who knows how to do it. Now the important part over here is that you can actually get checked for lead. Majority of the labs offer testing where your lead levels can be checked either in your blood or either in your urine. So very simple test and if you do have some lead then you know that you need to get rid of it and then you need to work form a, pro a proper protocol to get rid of it. So you see, a lot of spices, you know, might be contaminated with lead. You might be eating those spices previously or you are still eating them and they might be the reason of your thyroid disorder. So it is very important to know that, you know, do all these things which I shared with you to stay away from these spices and do some detox things that doesn't hurt your body. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much.